Our unique ability to communicate with others close by or even around the world clearly sets the human race apart from other species we share the planet with. Yes, the human race thrives on communication. We are constantly looking for better and more efficient ways to share information and keep in touch. Technological advances in cell and smartphones are taking our ability to stay connected to even greater heights. In the year 2000, 12% of the world's population owned a cellular device. In 2009, it was estimated that 61% of the global population had a mobile phone. This percentage is higher now. Between 2008 and 2010, it is estimated that billions of people rely on their cell phone. This includes 91% of the USA's population, 68% of China's population, 84% of Japan's population, 123% of the United Kingdom. Predictions are that smartphone sales are expected to keep growing, eventually passing standard cell phone sales by the end of 2011. In just the second quarter of 2010 alone, 14.7 million smartphones were sold in the United States. Despite this growth in relative terms, the world is still only in the early growth phase of the relatively new wireless era. In addition to cell phones, the next generations of smartphones are becoming increasingly popular thanks to many forms of social media and the explosive growth of downloadable applications. However, cellular devices and smartphones would not have developed into what they are today if it were not for a small group of 17 highly coveted minerals known as rare earth elements. Some of these elements are absolutely vital components of any cellular device, yet the world's stockpile and supply of some of these minerals is dwindling rapidly. Without them, the speed at which technological advances occur would slow to a snail's pace. So why are these rare earth elements so essential to how these phones operate, and what do they do? The rare earth minerals known as europium, terbium, yttrium, and cerium are all found in LCD screens. For example, europium produces the color red in the LCD screen, and terbium produces the color green, as well as being essential to a phone's backlight mechanics. As of yet, there is virtually no substitute available on the planet for the important functions europium performs. Neodymium is found in the high-powered magnet that converts electrical power into mechanical energy. A phone vibrates because of the neodymium in it. Lanthanum is an integral component of nickel-metal hybrid batteries, which power most cell phones. Yttrium is used in the development of camera lenses, and samarium cobalt is a component in the miniature speakers. Gadolinium is currently being studied as a way to enhance flash memory speed and data storage capacity. Without rare earths, cell phones and smartphones wouldn't include several of the features that make them so functional and vital to the growth of the digital age. There would be no high-resolution screen, battery life would be considerably shorter, and the quality and small size of the speakers, camera, or even their vibrating function that helps you enjoy your movies in peace would not be possible. Rare earth elements are also at the core of many of the technologies that power green technologies and alternative energy solutions. Yes, these 17 underappreciated yet extremely essential minerals are so important to the quality of our everyday life and how we will live in the future that understanding the role they play, where they come from, and who supplies them is critical to making sure that we don't run short of them. The kind of future we might have may depend on it. For more information, visit www.cadella.com or follow us at Cadella on Twitter.